Cornwall Trail and it's lovely harvest weather. It's Monday the 15th of July. As you can see, it's absolutely chucking it down. I'm on my way. It's actually nearly the end of the day now. It's five, gone five o'clock. Just taking this 6155R up to the farm too. We've got the hedge trimmer on the back and the three metre topper on the front, flail topper. I'm going to take this up there and then uh, Laura's going to pick me up, so it'll be up there. I'll take my car up there in the morning. Can you hear the tyres? They're quite noisy compared to the, these are trolley boards. Uh, they're no, definitely noisy compared to the Michelin's, that's for sure. I don't know, I'm assuming it's the tyres that's making the noise. It's definitely not a four wheel drive. Normally when you're driving down the road and you hear the tracks making a funny whining noise it's because it's in four-wheel drive. Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah, I'm at farm two. Just on a little trim here out on the road. And the entrance to this block of land. So yeah, we ended up with 15 mil of rain um, yesterday afternoon or evening. I think we must be up around the 50 mil mark now for July. Um, and they're forecasting more showers for today. And then the rest of the week's quite warm. But I just thought I'd have a quick look at this wheat while I'm up here. This is X days. And it's definitely turned. And if that's going to get hot in the next few days, this I reckon this will, be, this will probably be what we cut after the barley. So obviously it's still a couple of weeks away going to be quite a lot of wheat on, on an ear. Yeah. It's getting there. Still a little bit milky, but like I say, we get 27 degrees this week. That will soon, soon ripen. Okay, I'm going to go and carry on. I'm almost finished this job now. No slugs were harmed in the making of this video. He survived. Okay, Wednesday morning. Without spraying. I'm putting the last dose of fungicide on the spring beans. So we got, we're we spraying it for disease. It's got, I'll go and show you in a bit. But it's got a bit of brown rust and a bit of chocolate spot. The agronomist came out last Tuesday and had a look at it. So, yeah. Last spraying job of the season. Uh, yeah, so this sprayer's done a whole season now. I can't believe it's done a whole season already. We got it last September. Now it's July, so yeah. Right, it's going to get hot today as well, so I'll only be spraying this morning. And uh, and then, oh, we've got a dodgy nozzle there, look. I'll have to get out and sort that out in a minute. Uh, and what else was I going to say? Yeah, hot, yeah. I'll probably go top in this afternoon, so. No spraying this afternoon, it'll be too hot. I think it's going to get up to about 24 degrees. Heat wave coming. Yeah, so we're spraying the beans at farm two. They're not as tall here as what they are at farm three, but um, these are the worst ones for disease. These are the most urgent to be sprayed, so that's why I'm doing them first. You can see they're quite bad with uh, brown rust. I'm not sure whether that's focused or not. You can see the little brown bubbling marks on the leaf. So yeah, that's why we're spraying them now, and hopefully that will clear that up straight away. And the reason why they're so bad with disease is because of the wet weather what we've been having so yeah they finished flowering now and they're podding up this is i am on the headland here so it's not the best part of the field to be looking but there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine nine pods on there possibly ten so yeah this isn't going to be our best crop of beans the, the beans at farm three are much taller and much better as you can see it's pretty tacky out got top mud on the tires we are on heavy clay up here so but to be honest the wet uh spring slash summer so far what we've had of the summer has been perfect for these beans here if we had drilled these and we'd had a drought they wouldn't have they would have just died but on this heavy clay the moisture would have not lasted at all so right anyway uh hopefully Laura and Hannah are going to take a bit of video now. They are, there probably won't be any commentary, so I better 
tell you what they're doing. Uh, they're weighing lambs. So Laura started off with around best part of 500 lambs, I think. And uh, she a couple of weeks ago she drew off 40 ewe lambs that will go in, get put into the flock. Not this summer, but next year they'll they'll the the top will go to them next year. So she'll have 40 of her own lambs as ewes. Uh, so today they're weighing they're weighing them all. You'll see in a minute. They are going to split them up. The heavier ones, they are. They will probably yeah. They'll be the heavier ones. We've separated off, possibly fed, and they will go to market soon. Uh, and the lighter ones will be kept back, and they will go on turnips this uh, autumn. So, yeah, that's the plan. Right. Hopefully, they'll take some video, and you can see what they're doing next. a bit tight he insisted oh that's very close he insisted on coming passing there so I thought sod it I'll go there's another place right here where he could have backed back to so we're in a jungle now so it's actually stayed clouded over on Wednesday afternoon so I've filled it refilled and I've come to spray the rest of the beans at at uh, farm three and press the auto steer button yeah, hell of a crop up here. Tallest beans I've ever seen. <laughs> Look really good. The, the tractor's laying them over, but it's not snapping them off. So, yeah. I hope they stay standing up. They've grown even since I walked out there last week. Amazing. You see here, look, you can just see they're laid over. Probably bruised them a bit. Give them a bit of a shot, but at least they're not snapping off. It feels like the tractor's shrunk. Right, just grabbing a dust mask. We are going to spray the grain stores uh, with insecticide to kill any bugs, so it's pretty warm. Hopefully, it won't take long.
Hiya folks, it's Thursday morning. I am at farm two. Just been tidying up the driveway. Just trimmed the banks. Making it all nice and neat. I've just got to do around the pond. Where is it? Uh, yeah. There. I've just got to do around the pond and then I'm done here. Just gonna empty the rain gauge is full. Looks like it's gonna rain Saturday, so that's annoying. We're planning on starting combining next week. We're gonna cut the barley next week, so this is winter wheat. Ground soft, it just pulls straight out. Just rub some of this wheat out. The grains, where's the camera on this thing? Focus. The grains are still very green. That's still a good week of hot weather away from harvesting yet. I also need to bring the strimmer up and strim all around the fence and around the gate and around the trees. Thought we could do a little before and after of the pond. You see it now, look, absolutely, it's all overgrown. Just stinging nettles and docks. Let's see if we can get it tidied up. I should reach most of it with the hedge trimmer and then finish it off with the strimmer. So I can get on these branches. Right, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm in the 155. I've got the three meter topper on the front. I'm topping around some grass margin around these fields. I'm ready for doing a bit of harvest prep so we can drive on them with the tractors and trailers uh, when, when they're loaded with grain. It's so frustrating it's gonna rain at the weekend. We've got this lovely high pressure and 24 degrees and, and um, nothing's ready. And because uh, the straw is still pretty green and we need to be able to bale it straight behind the combine. So we're just gonna leave it. it literally the barley would have probably almost been ready at the weekend. I, I wanna go backwards, not forwards. It would have almost been ready at the weekend and, and uh and it's gonna rain at the weekend so we're gonna lose the high pressure so we gonna take a little chunk out of that but uh to be honest there's not too much pressure on at the moment anyway the barley has stood up nicely it's only just almost ripe it's not over ripe or anything like that and going flat or brackling over the wheat is still a week or two away so it's not like we've got the wheat push in so even if we did go and cut the barley at the weekend we then have a, a, a gap between barley and wheat anyway so we'd start and then stop again and we do only have around 50 hectares of barley to cut so not a massive amount it's 125 acres in old money if you watch well I was watching uh, PX Farms video and he was saying that they've got 920 hectares of winter barley to cut and so it makes my 50 hectares seem like a tiny amount and they've got they're cutting that with four combines so yeah, they must have a huge area to cover with those four combines. It's on another level to what we're doing down here. We'll start a new field. Anyway, I'll try and get a bit of video of Toby Holt training the calves and put that on next. And then we've got a nice bit of variety then. Something that I've never noticed that you can do before. Where is it? Maintenance and calibrations. Service checks. Oh, it just says normal. Uh engine oil coolant level maybe i thought it was going to be a bit more information than that actually tell us how much was how much oil was in the engine but apparently not anyway it's friday morning i've just knocked the grids out on the on the radiator oh, didn't think the tractor was going to start then yeah i've just knocked the grids out because they were all blocked up from the front mower i'm gonna do some more topping this morning Yeah, I did also grease the front topper as well. I've done that. But yeah, I'm going to go do some topping now around the grass margins. And then Laura's going to come and take over a bit later on when she's done her jobs. And what else? And then I'm going to go and get things ready for combining. It looks like we might miss the rain Saturday now. So you never know, we might even get combined at the weekend. So, so make sure you keep watching for a harvest video very soon. 
I suppose you don't fill it up and turn it into a swimming pool. Put the tailboard down. Is it bad? Yeah, Toby's washing the trailer. That's on the 155. Laura's already washed the other two. So we're almost ready to go, trailer-wise. Mind you, they all want greasing and lights checking and wheel bearings checking. So we've got a little bit to do. All right, it's Friday afternoon. Uh, Laura's actually in front of me with the 215 and one of the 18 tonners. She, she just went up to farm two to collect all the recycling spray cans on the seed bags and things like that so taking it back to farm two where it will be collected from and yeah i'm done up there for now hunts are coming out tomorrow to service this tractor and so i'm going to go back to the farm and take the hedge cutter off and the topper off i'm done with the hedge trimmer i don't need that one anymore and we seem to be meeting a lot of cars oh that was a funny noise Seems everyone's very grumpy this afternoon. Nobody's cracking a smile at all. It's a straight face when they when they uh, pass people. Must be the heat. It's quite warm today. Packed it in the shed. I'm gonna drop that off right there. Just gotta take the tractor up to the other farm. Got my bike on the back of the tractor. I've got to take it up to farm free because that's where it's getting serviced, so I'm taking it up there. And uh, rather than getting a lift, I'll take my bike. Oh, it's just up a bumpy track. A little bike ride. Change of plan. The gator was up at farm free. So I chucked my bike in the back and I'm using the noisy gator to get back home. Right, Saturday afternoon. So I'm talking to my camera. We're washing the combine. It hasn't rained yet. So uh, yeah, all going well. All the trailers are ready now, so we'll, um, if it's sunny tomorrow and it doesn't rain this afternoon, we're gonna give it a go. And I'll probably start it in a new video, but yeah. Right, I'm gonna go and do some brushing. Laura's washing, pressure washing, and I'll go and do some scrubbing with the brush. So yeah, I'll catch in a bit. I'll show you when it's done. nice and shiny now. Anything left to do is put the GPS on and it's ready to go. I won't stay that shiny for long. Right, I'm going to put it back in the barn before it makes it rain. We already washed the header. We've done that first. That's around the corner. 